Thanks for staying on. Now, these are a set of outrageous remarks, crass remarks that have been made by a professor in Kerala for his own girl students. He's drawn connections between a woman's chest and sliced watermelons, saying that they look alike. And if that wasn't shameful enough, the professor has gone on to school. Girls. Is an audio clipping of the ugly remarks here that he's made. ചുറ്റല <laughs> മുപ്പത്തിരണ്ട് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഉണ്ടാവും ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് പിന്നും വല്ല ഇടിയൊക്കെ വെട്ടിയാലും അഞ്ച് പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടാവും ഇപ്പം വന്ന സ്റ്റൈലാ എന്നിട്ട് അത് ഇങ്ങനെ ദീ കൂടി അങ്ങോട്ട് തൂക്കി ദീ കൂടി അങ്ങോട്ട് കെട്ടി ഇവിടെ ഫുള്ള് ഇങ്ങോട്ട് കാണാം എന്നാൽ നെഹ്സുറുദാനത്തിന് പറഞ്ഞത് നിങ്ങളുടെ മാറിടത്തിലേക്ക് മുഖമക്കനകളെ താഴ്ത്തിയിടണമെന്ന എന്തിനാ അറിയോ പുരുഷനെ ഏറ്റവും ആകർഷിക്കുന്ന സ്ത്രീയുടെ ഭാഗങ്ങളിൽ ഒന്നും മാറാം അത് പുരുഷൻ കാണാതിരിക്കാനും അത് പുരുഷൻ ഇന്ന് മറക്കാതിരിക്കാനും ഒക്കെയാണ് നിങ്ങളോട് മുഖമക്കനകളെ താഴ്ത്തിയിടാൻ പറഞ്ഞു മാറിലേക്ക് ഞമ്മളെ പെൺകുട്ടിയോ തലമ്മ ചുറ്റി കയ്യത് മാറ് ഫുള്ളോറൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാവും എന്നിട്ട് വത്തൊക്കെ കണ്ടില്ല നിങ്ങൾ പഴുത്തുറ നോക്കാൻ ഒരു കഷ്ണം ഇങ്ങനെ ചൂയി നിൽക്കുന്നു താ ചോപ്പുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ഇങ്ങനെ കാണിച്ചെടുക്കും ഇതേ മാതിരി ഉള്ളിലൊക്കെ Absolutely no action has been taken against Jawhar Munavir uh, who is also the counsellor and uh, a trainer at the Farooq Training Institute in Calicut. Uh, this speech has been made by Jawhar Munavir uh, a month back and uh, Yes uh, you have heard him saying uh, you know you, you have heard him advising muslim girls as how they should dress and he also says that nowadays muslim girls you know uh, races their parda just to expose their leggings and he also says that you know uh, when uh, when these girls bend you know uh, they they intentionally show their breast and he uh, you know compares the breast with a watermelon and uh, you know such kind of a uh, weird and you know disgusting kind of uh, comments been made by jawhar munawir and let me tell you uh, there was been a number of protests which has been happening in the last two days against uh, this lewd comment that's been made by jawhar munawir and uh, apart from that i also spoke to a few uh, students from farooq uh, college what they say is that this is not the first time that such comments have been made by professors you know there has been moral policing uh, from time you know uh, from a, for a very long time in farooq college uh, last year there was an incident where two students were been questioned uh, just because you know uh, they were sitting together in a class and talking but uh, in this case let me just tell you that there is no action take, taken place no explanation been asked from this uh, you know jawhar munawar uh, but at the same time in the social media there is also a counter campaign that's going on clearly enraged over the professor's attempt to shame the girls the body shame the girls students have taken to the streets in protest it is not uh, the duty of the professor to check what uh, the students are wearing and uh, no matter what what religion she is from uh, no professor must say uh, us i mean say to the students to the girls uh, that what we should wear how we should wear and when we should wear and what we should wear we are supposed i mean it is uh, it is an individual uh, it is uh, it is about the individual's uh, comfort i concede that maybe the intentions of that particular professors uh, professor may be good in telling that ethics should be followed dress code should be followed social norms should be followed maybe he could have articulated it a bit better but i believe those kind of intentions of conservative protective being preservatives and value oriented ethics should definitely be inspired the articulation could have been better